Welcome back today for another video, guys. I hope you guys are having a great day today. We got a little bit of rain last night. I was actually sleeping, and I had my skylights open, and I started feeling some mist, and I was like, why, why am I getting wet? Like, sleep. And then I realized my window was open, so I wouldn't shut those. But yeah, it's a little bit raining, so I'm not going to do, can't do too much. But I was thinking I want to take Queen and Samson out. I've been working them a little bit solo by myself. Um, you know, I just got to make sure I think ahead. You know, they're a little bit bigger, you know. You got to pay a little more attention than with my horses. You know, I've been working my horses by myself for, you know, a year now. Um, and I can handle that pretty well. But... You know, just the bigger the draft horse. There's a little bit more to handle, but I can do it, and you know, it's it's fun. I like doing it. So yeah, I'm gonna try to catch Queen and Samson today. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Maybe just put them on a four cart, do a little bit of driving. Might open the gates here and go out in the woods. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, just try to stay safe. Think, stay safe. Think ahead. We got a couple grand here, worth more than cocaine these days. Um, there's one pine tree that fell down up in the corner of the hayfield, up in the woods a little ways. And there was a few more, so Jay cut those down and we hauled them out the red horses and we did nine, we, we did about 11 or 12 skids the other morning, um, Sunday morning, and then um, I ended up loading them up on the Medivic and we ended up taking them over um, to a guy who's, um, we've been taking their stuff to get sawmilled. Um, and then he brings it back. So this was a last load that we got and there's still a couple more loads we're going to go back with the flatbed and get the rest but it's been working out pretty well some of the two by sixes we've been getting from him or one by sixes i think we've been using for the outer cow pasture and you see that nice curve it's really cool i'll go show, show you guys out there a little more when i go, go out with the horses but yeah it's that was a pretty easy job it's really wet out there so we had to brace a lot of it before we put the boards up but it's really nice. Thinking I might get Applejack and Trivet out and check Applejack's foot because he does have an abscess right now. Uh, I might put them over there after I've been probably put them over there for a few days. It's pretty thick, so I don't want to put them over there too long, but let their pasture they're on rest for a few days, maybe a week or so. I'll grab Queen and Samson's halter here. Grab some ropes. This gate was wide open this morning, and only Samson was out. So Jay must have left this gate open last night. But only Samson was out, and the other three were standing over there, wanting out too, but they could have just walked right out the gate. They're all out here in this wet pasture. Now the trick here is to get two black horses, and only two black horses, not two red horses. Well, I got the Percherons and the tie stalls, and then I convinced these two to go over there, and then I shut the gate, and now I can take these two out. It was a lot easier when we just had two horses to catch them. Because <laughs> it's hard to get two without the other two sometimes. Good ponies. So I got Queen and Samson in here. These two are Percherons. So basically what I do is I'll brush them down just to get all the loose hair, especially now they're kind of, these two are almost done shedding. But um, get the hair and dirt off of them so it's a little more comfortable on their harness. Then I'll pick their feet usually, um, just to make sure there's no rocks or anything unusual in their feet. And then I'll throw their collars on. Those are Queen and Sampson's collars in the red. And then I'll put, throw their harnesses on, um, put their lines on, and then pretty much ready to go. I'll ground drive them a little bit, and then I'll put them on whatever I want to do. So, yeah, let's get to it. Mr. Sampson. Yeah, you got out this morning, didn't you? You were the only one who saw the wide open gate, buddy. Let's get to it, Queenie. A little taller than Applejack and Trivet, I have to say. <laughs> Queen is a very, very big horse. So is Samson. These guys are like twice the size of my horses. One thing that I'm also doing while I'm going along, brushing them, is checking them for ticks. Especially right now the ticks are pretty bad. Especially like up here in the back pocket, right in here. Back in here. Up front, right here. And under their face right here is where the ticks like to hide. 
So yeah, I do that, make sure they don't have any ticks. We don't like ticks. Found a few, but not as many as I did the last time I had these guys out. So this right here is my hoof knife, the hoof knife. We use this, some people use just hoof picks, which are just like little plastic picks, basically. Um, but I like these because they have the cutting blade, and you can really, if you need to dig out abscesses or anything, they're really good for that. So we'll just pick Samson's foot up here, dig out, make sure there's no rocks. These guys are a little long right now. They definitely do need a trim, and I think the farrier's scheduled to come in a week or so, so. Do queenies. I do front to back, I go all across the front, and all across the back, so I can compare them. Come on, queen. Yeah, there's a stone right in queens right there. That's why we check them. Kind of sucks right now because their feet are all muddy. Got their collars on. <sighs> See, I'm taking a nap. Harnesses, and bam, they're all harnessed up. I don't know if I showed you guys, we got these guys some new bridles. A few weeks ago, when we sold the last wagon, we stopped at the harness store. And yeah, got these guys some new shiny bridles, matching. They're pretty nice. I'm just gonna sneak out here real quick. Make sure I can get the four cart. I'm probably just gonna bring the four cart and put it by the rail. I could just put them on over there and make them stand, but I don't really have anybody to head them. And I can, I have done it and I can do it without anybody heading them. And they're pretty good about it, but it's just easier to bring it over there, take five seconds to do it, and then have not have the possibility of them running away or something and making a mess. Trucks are running on the road, so I'm probably just gonna head out in the woods. Um, we have it set up so we can do a loop around the pond without opening any gates or stopping, so that's sort of, it's a little muddy. I should just be careful they don't slip too much, but they should be good. I'm not gonna go out too long, just a little bit. Just wanna give them a little exercise. Probably just gonna switch to the GoPro just cause it's a little easier. Good team. I'll just take them, um, do a little bit of ground driving first, just to get the jitters out, see how they're acting. It's always good to drive them a little bit before you put them on anything. Make sure the harness is all on right. Everything's good. Make sure they're not limping or anything. These guys are turning out really nice. We've been together almost two years now. Um, yeah, it's like barely any line pressure. I mean, we're not on anything yet, but it's just about this time last summer, I was driving them to show my grandma. And I drove them around our deck, just around our house, and they literally dragged me around the house. It was pretty, it was pretty comical. But like barely any line pressure now. I think that's a testament to how far they've come and how far I've come in driving. Too. Got our little pond right here that Jay dug. You can see the water is just flowing out of the side of the hill. There's so much water on our hill. Oh, oh, don't you stand for a sec? It's crazy. I think he's gonna dig it out more eventually, but it's up to you. I'm gonna give you guys a little disclaimer right now. I don't know how good this GoPro footage is gonna be. I can't really see the camera, so hopefully it turns out good. I've already filmed talk for like a minute or two and realized my camera wasn't on, so <laughs> not the greatest, but it's a little easier, especially with these two, not to have to film on my camera, so yeah. Hopefully it turns out good and I can make a video out of it. A little wet. Not gonna pull any logs today, ponies. Don't wanna tear up the trails. I might go around and shut some of the gates because I know Jay said that he wanted to open up some more pasture to the horses. So I might close some gates while I'm out with them if they will stand good enough for me to do that. They're doing pretty good so far, though. See the water running down the hill. 
I don't know how much rain we got, but quite a bit. I think this is, we've got, this may be the second rain we've got this week, I think. Up, Queen. Up, Queenie. Oh, there's a puddle up here. They might try to jump it. This might be a little interesting. No, not today. I would usually give them a rest before we go up the hill, but they're not pulling anything of weight, so we'll make us we'll make them go around a few times. Oh, I don't know if you can hear it. Me and Jay pulled this log up here a few weeks ago with these guys, and we were came up with the tractor, and we were, wanted to go from that tree to that tree just because there's a steep. Steep drop right here, and we don't want anybody to go off of it, but we pushed the log off too far. Aha! Uh -huh. I saw something that I was looking for, ponies. We're going to come back up again. I saw a chain that we lost a few weeks ago. About to cross the pond here. Let's not go swimming, ponies. I'm guilty of that with a backhoe. Not the funnest day. It's a three culvert day. A beautiful day out in the woods. I'm gonna do maybe one or two more laps around the pond today just because I don't want to go out on the road because there's trucks, rock trucks out today, so don't want to be a pest to them, but this is all good. I like driving in the woods a lot more than I do on the road. Especially on these days when you can just see the buds coming out. It's it's really beautiful. And our trails are really nice, so no reason not to. Walk. I don't want them to run going down the hill. Especially when it's slippery like this. The bugs are pretty bad. I should have, I don't think they're bothering the horses too much right now, but should have put some bug spray on them. It's that time of year. Wah. Wah, Samson. Wah. I don't know if you guys can see this white line up here. We ended up separating this field right here so we can keep the gates open and still go around the pond without that happened to open any gates. Works out pretty good, I don't know. Walk, walk, walk. It's gonna be muddy right here. Walk, queen. Walk, walk. Just walk. Oh, two more steps up. Up, oh. Oh, I'm gonna grab this chain that I left up here. We were doing some logging the other day, I, a few weeks ago. I left it up here and I remembered it and it was right where I left it, so. Boop. That works out. That chain would have been handy when we were pulling out the, all those pines the other day to take to the, get sawmilled, but whatever. It is what it is. This is really nice. I can just sit back, give them just the slightest bit of rain and they go right where I want. They would not have done this. They weren't as nice you know, six months ago. They've really come a long way. It's, it's really nice to drive. 
it's kind of funny, I think, especially since we got these red horses, like, these guys have really improved a lot, I think. I, I don't know if that's just I've been driving them more, um, so I, you know, get the feeling a little more for them, but I don't know, I really, I really like this team. And they got a lot of power. I mean, when you put a manure spreader, a big log behind them, they're going to pull, um, you know, and they're not, they're, they have a lot of power. A lot of power. Jay's pretty sure these two were started as pulling horses. Um, and we've seen that just doing some logging and pulling some stuff. And they'll do the, do the hop like pulling horses do. So I'm pretty convinced of that. Um, but, you know, you really don't want to train that out of them. As long as, like, how they've come along now, just being able to drive them like this and not have to have them pull your arm sockets out. Going up to the pond one more time. I'll do three laps today and then I'll take them home. Maybe do a little cool down down the road and then put them back. They've done a good job. I just wanted to give them a little exercise, that's all. Mr. Old Guy. Getting back just in time. It's just starting to rain a little harder, so. Back these guys in the right into the barn. If I mess up, I can edit it out, but I'm going to try to back them up into the first bay in one shot. Let's see if I can do it. Bring them past. Oh, 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 team. Oh, oh, back, 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 G, G, back, back, G, back, 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 ho, oh. good team, ho, oh. good, back in, just in time before it started pouring. Oh, it's not pouring yet, but it might. Can you guys step over? There you go. Bertrands and Bertrands. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything, don't be afraid to leave them down in the comments section down below. Maybe leave a like. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Um, I don't know how good the GoPro footage is going to turn out, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to untack these guys and put them back. They did really good and I'm getting a little more comfortable with driving them by myself so that's good. I'm not gonna take Applejack and Trevor out. Don't want to take them out in the rain but thanks for watching!